Discord has quickly become one of the world's most popular VoIP programs. However, it's not perfect and can run into issues even with simple logins. My name is Yadullah. You are watching Candid.Technology and in this video, we are talking about the Discord grey screen issue that you can sometimes run into. Now, Discord's grey screen can cause a lot of problems considering the fact that you can't even log into the program when it shows up. The first thing that we're going to do to fix that is restart Discord altogether. So to do that, right click on your start menu and click on task manager. Once task manager opens up, you will see a bunch of Discord processes running. Just select any one of them, click end task to close Discord completely. Now we'll just go back and run Discord again. And this time it will look for updates before starting, log you in properly, and that should fix the problem. As you can see, uh, Discord has launched on another display, but if I bring it in here, it loads up just fine. Next up, sometimes your internet connection or Discord's own servers can be down causing this error. Now to do that, just make sure that you're connected to the internet. I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so I'll head over to my browser and run a quick speed test. I'm using fast.com. You can use any uh, websites that you prefer. So as you can see, I have my internet connection working just fine. So now I will head to discordstatus.com which is the website for checking the status of all Discord services. As you can see, all systems are operational and uh, all the clients are also working. So desktop, iOS, Android and web, everything is working just fine, which means there are no issues with the Discord app at the moment. All right, next up, some problems in the Discord cache or corrupt files, incomplete downloads, things like that can cause Discord to not open up. Now, to fix this, what we have to do is press Windows key plus R to open run and type in what you already see in the box, which is percentage sign, app data, percentage sign. Once that's typed in, go ahead and click OK or press enter and a folder will open up. Uh, in this folder, I have this Discord folder, which saves all of Discord's temporary files and cache and things like that. Now you can, if you want, wipe this entire directory. So everything that's in there to reset all apps, or uh, you can just select Discord, delete this folder, uh, either send it to recycle bin or shift delete it for a permanent deletion. And once you're done with that, Discord will be forced to launch from scratch, which means you will have to enter your credentials again. So be wary of that, but that should fix the problem. Next up, if clearing files didn't help, it's time to reinstall Discord from scratch. Right click your start menu and head over to installed apps and we'll give Windows settings a couple of seconds to load up. All right, it's loaded. Now I'll scroll down to find Discord in this list. Uh, here it is. Click on these three dots, click uninstall. It will ask you for a confirmation. Click uninstall again. Once the uninstall is complete, head over to the Discord website and download the client and reinstall it to hopefully fix your issue. All right, so if nothing else is working, your best bet is to use Discord web. And to do that, just head over to discord.com and click on open Discord in your browser. Once you do it, Discord will start running in your browser and you basically get all the features that you do with the desktop client. So if the desktop client can't function for whatever reason, you can always access Discord via your browser. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.